The array sum method allows you to check whether or not at least one item inside an array satisfies a provided condition. Okay, so in this example right here, we've got an array of numbers 2, 8, 7, 12, and 4. And we're checking to see if at least one of these numbers in this array is an odd number. Of course, there is one, it's 7, but we're going to use some code to verify this is true. So we can see here we're saying numbers.sum and we're passing in this function right here, which is basically providing you with a condition. And this function is going to run on every single item inside your array. If it returns true for at least one of the items, you're going to get true as your final result from the sum method. Now, the way we check if a number is odd, we say n modulo 2 does not equal to 0. Because if a number is even, running this operation would give you the number 0. So we're saying, look, if it's not 0, it must be an, uh, must be an odd number. So if we were to run this code here, we of course do indeed get true in the console. And if I was to make this a six, okay, now there is not at least one item which satisfies this condition. Okay, so run it again, we now get false. Okay, running this here on an empty array is also going to give you false as your result as we can see right there. And something like this can come in handy if, for example, you've got a bunch of API requests to send to your backend and you want to check if at least one of them have failed, you can display some sort of message to your user informing them that something has gone wrong. And that is all for this one. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.